what's going on you guys this is madam and i'm coming back to you again this is a story that was posted a couple days ago and i just wanted to give it some time for the update um actually this uh this is by forbes.com and the article is by nicholas Remen. okay it says tennessee county reportedly illegally jailed hundreds of children charging some with crimes that did not exist okay and it's all linked to a judge in tennessee uh we about to get into it y'all all right we definitely about to get into it it says for years a suburban county near nashville tennessee illegally locked up children and in at least one instance used bogus charges to justify it according to a bombshell pro republica investigation published on friday as part of the system that sent kids as young as seven to jail and some reports i found that it was like five age five uh i'm not sure i'll just say that that's allegedly but for this article we're going to stick to the um the age of seven okay it says according to pro republica ruthless ford county tennessee used the county officials called as filter system starting in 2008 which left it up to the discretion of the jailers to decide whether a child's arrest and taken to the juvenile detention center could be released though tennessee law only allows for children to be held under specific circumstances okay under the direction of judge donna scott davenport who was the judge in question uh what we're talking about this woman right here hmm let's continue the county's policy is for children charged with crimes to be processed at the detention center even though being arrested or dropped off by their parents okay in 2016 an incident that sparked outrage the poli the policies were used to arrest 11 11 elementary school children all black with six being handcuffed and four being locked up in jail at the processing for allegedly watching a scuffle involving a five-year-old and a six-year-old and one older boy the children were charged with criminal responsibility for conduct of another a crime that does not exist in tennessee law yes you heard me right you heard me right the result was a class action lawsuit against rufus ford county which settled in 2017 when the county agreed to pay out a combined 397,500 to the 11 children while a separate class action lawsuit ended the county's filter system program thank goodness for that the officer who signed off on the criminal responsibility for conduct of another charges was suspended for three days according to pro pro republica while the head of the juvenile detention center facility and davenport remains in their jobs okay reportedly to growing reviews glowing reviews from other local officials what's wrong with this picture y'all I'm just saying real quickly like what's wrong with this okay 48% that's the percentage of children who were jailed in the county at the cases were referred to juvenile court in 2014 the most recent year data is available the number was by far the most of any county in Tennessee and was a rate of nearly 10 times above the state average of 5% okay it says Davenport has taken taken a harsh line with juveniles in her tenure as the elected ju uh, juvenile court judge according to pro republica a position she has held since 2000 the judge holds immense power over the local juvenile justice system appointing all ma uh, magistrates 
in approving policies for detention centers. Davenport also appears on a monthly segment on her local radio station in which she has claimed children are behaving far worse now than they have in the past. Davenport says she believes she goes on God's mission to discipline children in the in the community, sometimes referring to herself as the mother of the country. Excuse me, yeah, excuse me, county, excuse me. According to ProRepublica, though the combination of her process requiring requiring all children who are charged with a crime to be sent to a detention center and a facilities filter system, letting jailers decide who gets to be released. It's estimated some 1,500 children have been illegally jailed in Rufus Ford County. Excuse me. Uh, during her time as a judge, county officials have also said at meetings they view the 64-bed detention facility as a profit center since its contracts with 39 other counties and the U.S. Marshal Service to hold children detainees reportedly at a cost of 175 per person per day. Davenport did not respond to requests for comment from either ProRepublica or Forbes, okay? It says being detained in our facilities is not a, a picnic at all. It's not, it's, not supported, it's not supposed to be. It's a consequence for an action, Davenport said during one of her radio segments. The ProRepublica piece sparked widespread uh, uh, condemnation of the juvenile justice system in Rufus Ford County, Tennessee. On Friday, this is so wrong on so many levels. Tennessee Senate Majority Le uh, Leader Jeff uh, Yarbrough, I apologize, a Democrat said on Twitter, adding the story about this nightmare is worth your time and attention today. Okay. And that is very much the end of it and what's been published so far. Um, apparently, it is a profit for children to be... I mean, well, honestly, I'm not too shocked by this. It's the same method that they use for incarcerating adults as well. Um, it's, it's no different. It's just children... Um, and it's something deeply wrong and deeply telling there, okay? Um, I'm not going to sit here and assume and throw out accusations because, like I said in any of my stories, all the reporting on it is allegedly, and as the story develops, I will develop the content to support the story that I did. Um, with that being said, um, I do know that it's going to be a special place in hell for her. Um, for her and anyone else that has participated in the profit um, of that. And the reason why I said this is because the other articles that I read, uh, they receive a pretty, pretty bounty for putting these children in jail upwards of 10 grand okay that's what i read was for the detention centers what they receive is a little bit more substantial you know what i mean but it is what it is uh it's a very outraging um to put a child in jail for for a law that doesn't exist in the state um it begs to different of how many more uh times have children been incarcerated under false pretenses and laws that do not exist i mean is there a system in place to combat such things such as this where people won't use innocent children for profit um i want to know let me know how you feel. Let me know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. 
and please don't forget to comment down in the comment section and with that being said you guys i will get back with you in a later video